Have you ever noticed how the weather can influence our mood? Do you feel gloomy during a rainy day? Are you more upbeat when the sun shines? And does the wind affect your mood? You might have heard of winds like the Santa Ana winds in California, the Chinook winds which blow down from the Rocky Mountains, or the phone which sweep over parts of Europe. Some believe these winds affect not only our mood, but also our health, causing migraines and depression. Is this true? And first of all, what are these winds? And how do they form? Let's find out. Phone winds are warm and dry winds that come down the lee side of a mountain. Lee being the downwind side. When winds encounter a mountain high enough to block their passage they are pushed up along its flanks. As the air rises, it cools down. This happens for two reasons. Air is warmed by the Earth's surface. The further away from the surface the air is, the less heat it receives. Air pressure decreases with elevation. This is because the higher air is, the less air molecules are above it, so air particles experience less and less weight on them. As a result of the decreasing pressure, air molecules expand, and because the expansion requires energy, we see a drop in temperature of the expanding air. This process is known as adiabatic cooling. So the air that rises cools approximately 1 degree Celsius every 100 meters. This is known as the dry adiabatic lapse rate. But that is not all. Cold air can contain less water vapor than warm air. So as the air cools below a certain temperature, it cannot retain all the water it initially had when it started rising. We say it becomes, saturated. And droplets start to form. This leads first to clouds, and eventually to rain. The elevation at which this happens is known as the lifting condensation level. Because condensation causes heat to be released, as the air rises above this level, it keeps on cooling adiabatically, but at a much slower rate, since part of the cooling effect is offset by heat released by condensation, eventually the rising air reaches to top. By this stage, it will have cooled down a lot, and likely it will have rained out all of its humidity, so we are now dealing with cold but dry air. Cold dry air is heavy, and it will start to sink, rushing down the mountain lee side. Now the opposite happens, the sinking air is under more pressure, it becomes compressed, and it warms up. By how much? Well, because the air is now dry, it will follow the dry adiabatic lapse rate, and warm up by 1 degree Celsius every 100 meters, or almost twice as fast as it cooled down, when it was wet, on the upwind side. By the time the winds reach the valley, they will be not only dry, but also, warm. We have now learned how phone winds are generated, but what about their effects? Southern Californians dread the Santa Ana phone winds because they are known to promote wildfires. Also as they often rush down mountains in spring and greatly accelerate snow melting, phone winds are sometimes referred to as snow eaters. As for their effect on people's behavior, while there are scientific studies which show for example an increase on migraine cases, or even suicide rates when phone is blowing, up to now scientists were not able to conclusively explain why, so while we cannot rule it out, for now the effects of phone on people remain somewhat anecdotal.